Well, hello there. Fancy meeting you here. You've come at a good time because I'm just about to eat some more cheese. I am the cheese monster and I am going to eat all the cheese. Um, today I have got Beacon Blue, which is a blue goat's cheese made by Butler's Farmhouse Creamery. It's another one by Butler's. Um, I've got a few, of these, a few of these at the moment. Um, this is what they have to say. Beacon Blue is silvery like the moon, silky smooth, creamy and fresh on the tongue. Yet a good helping of peppery tang quickly develops, leaving you craving more. The freshest goat's milk makes the best goat's cheese. And Beacon Blue is made using milk from Nicola Butler's herd on our family farm. Just down the lane from the dairy. Oh, that's nice. Um, it is a silky smooth and elegantly sweet goat's cheese. Brilliant. No idea why it's called Beacon Blue. Um, it's blue, obviously. Um, I don't know where the beacon comes into it. Because um, this is made in Lancashire. But whatever. Um, we have a... I'll put that. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, I'll do. Um, we have a look at the cheese. I've kind of tried to slice some already, failed miserably at disintegrating all over the place. Um, I'm wary of touching the, the lump. So let's have a look at this. You can see um, the, the blue veins threading their way through the cheese. Um, that's where the pen, the, uh, I don't know, some kind of knitting needle or something was uh, pierced into the cheese to allow the pen to do rock 40. Um, Enter into the cheese and, and into the curds and grow. Um, it is quite a dry, I wouldn't say silvery, it's not exactly white, but it's a kind of bright whitish colour. Um, I can see why they called it silvery actually. The, the blue is so um, not faded, but it's so subtle in, in colour that it kind of does actually look a little bit grey. I think silver is, is a bit of a stretch. Um, smells good. It doesn't smell overly strong. It definitely smells blue. Um, I'm quite eager to try this. I don't think I've had this before. Um, I've got some accompaniments. As usual, I have got thin, crisp sourdough rye thins. I've got Miller's Elements Ale. Um, crackers and I've got some Jacobs salt and crack black cracked black pepper bakes still which I still haven't um, managed to eat all of them yet um, I've got some sliced pear some sliced cucumber some grapes Ugh. some grapes which are some red grapes which were hiding behind the pack the package I've got some Pale chutney, I've got some red onion chutney, I've got some honey, which I thought would be interesting to try with this. Got some cranberry sauce, and I've got some red pesto and some green pesto. So let's get stuck in. Gonna have a bit, just on its own. I did try slicing this, like I said, and it, it fell apart, and the you know, bits fell off it and everything. Um, I've given up trying to pick off the wood cat hairs, it's just ridiculous. So let's try a bit, see what's like. Mmm. No, that's an interesting flavour. Mmm. It's blue. It's peppery. There's a oh wow. The blue lingers after you chew it and swallow it. Um quite powerful it's obviously a goat's cheese it's not overly strong I would say the flavour is definitely the blue flavour is definitely stronger than the goat flavour it's a gorgeous combination though mm, I like that a little bit it sort of reminds me of Rock 40, Rope 4, whatever you want to call it, but not as 
soft and spread. Interesting flavour. Hmm. I'm going to try a bit on the Jacob's Cracker, but I suspect it will be too salty. Um, and let's just plunge straight in. Get a bit of a pear. A little wedge of sliced conference pear. Hopefully this will kind of, the wetness of the pear will dampen the, the pepperiness a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. That was a good choice. That's really nice. Mmm. I'm going to love it. Because that is actually quite spectacular. Um, it's not even just the weightness of the pear, it's just that, you know, pears are a weird. Yeah, weird fruit. I can't describe what they taste like. It's that pairiness, almost sour sweet, kind of very subtle sour sweetness. Mm. Yeah, that's amazing. It doesn't drown any of the goat's cheese flavour any of the blue flavour or any of the peppery flavour but it does just it kind of just takes the edge off it a little bit um let's try a bit with cucumber i want to see how it compares i can't imagine this will work at all oh that's what it looks like all right. does not work. I mean cucumber is basically like a pear isn't it but not pear flavoured. So actually that does work in a weird sort of way but the cucumber doesn't really add any flavour whereas the pear does. Mm. I really like this cheese. So apparently this won the Great Taste Award in 2022, I think. So says something about the Great Taste Award on the back, I'm not sure what it's supposed to mean. Mm. Let's try a bit. One of these elements biscuits. I really want to try this with honey. Um. Oh my god, it's like watching an MS advert. Yeah, that's okay. <coughs> Weird. I don't think I don't think it's a good match for these crackers. Um let's try a bit. <coughs> I told you we'd try some more. 
ways. So there are three ways. Cranberry sauce. Yeah, cross contamination. I don't care. It's been a bit Trying to be efficient. So, what we got here? Looks like a fucking traffic light or something. There we go. So, it's cranberry sauce, bell chutney, and um, red onion chutney. On a thin crisp. Yeah. Hmm. Looks well, okay with cranberry. It's quite a strong grapes cheese though, so mm. cranberries, cranberry tends to work better with milder flavours, I think. Try a bit with our oh, chutney. Mm. That is nice. You might remember this Iowa Chutney, um, this Darlington's, I think it is. Um, I had that with Crop Bobby Ship Stilton not too long ago. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And it works really well with blue, just with blue flavour. Um, and it doesn't make any difference really that it's a goat's cheese either. It's just a really, really good chutney for strong flavours, I think. Let's try the red onion chutney. See a bit of discoloration there from around this, from the, uh, the packet. Um, that was okay. Yeah, I mean, out of the shopping, I prefer the old shopping. <laughs> Everything is such hard work. I'm just going to try a bit with the pestos. Don't hold out my throat for this. And this is red chili pesto. It's quite spicy. Put a kick to it. Not too much. I'll just lick the spoon. Ooh. So there we go, green pesto, red chili pesto. Mm. That's just a weird combination of flavour. Like green pesto, just doesn't go with blue cheese, sorry. That's just hot. Yeah, nothing changes on the second time. Either. I'll try the red best though. Cheese. So here we go, this is what it's about. Jacob's Salt and Cracked Black Pepper Bakes, Beacon Blue and Sliced Conference Pear. That's what it's about. 
This has been Beacon Blue. I'll see you next week. Nom nom nom.